Max Schmeling remains Germany's most famous athlete, even 90 years after he won the heavyweight title in 1930. He would turn to professional boxing at the age of 19 in 1924. Four years later, he became the German heavyweight champion, but had to pay his own way to come to America to look for fights. He also dabbled in the movie business, starring in the German-made Love and Ring and Knockout. But on June 12, 1930, he would win the title from Jack Sharkey, but only when Sharkey had been disqualified for a low blow in round four. He didn't just want the title, he wanted the glory. He would defend the title against Young Stribling, but then take on Jack Sharkey in a rematch. The decision went Sharkey's way, but everyone who saw the fight thought Schmeling was robbed. The defeat left Schmeling in low spirits, and he wasn't ready to face the power-hitting Max Baer, who would knock him out in 10 rounds only months later. Schmeling's career was now in rebuilding mode at the age of 29, but he would marry a famous Czech actress named Annie Andra. Andra would work with Alfred Hitchcock on several occasions and was considered the first Hitchcock blonde. The first fight in his rebuilding mode would be against fellow German Walter Neusel in front of a record crowd of 90,000 people. Schmeling would win, knocking out Neusel in round 9. But in 1936, Schmeling would score the biggest win of his career, taking out American hero Joe Lewis in 12 rounds in front of over 40,000 people in New York City. Schmeling returned home to Germany as the conquering hero. He was flown home on the Hindenburg and was congratulated and greeted by Adolf Hitler. A few years went by and a rematch was looming. Lewis would go on to win the title from James Braddock and was primed for revenge. 70,000 people witnessed the massacre with Joe Lewis devouring his former conqueror in only 124 seconds. But Schmeling remained a hero to the Nazis and was forced to join their army in 1940, but he saw no combat as he made a parachute jump and badly injured both knees. Retiring from boxing, he would later become employed with Coca-Cola and invested his money wisely, becoming a multi-millionaire, while Joe Lewis would ultimately become broke. Schmeling would die in 2005 at the age of 99.